This is episode 4 of Unseen Rants. And what I really want to talk about is Rainbow Six Siege. You know, is it dying? Is it dead? My personal thoughts on the game. With Siege, you know, I've been playing it for 6 years since Operation White Noise. So that's a long time. I have like 600 hours on PC, but most of my hours are mainly on console. So I know how it is for a console player and a PC player. And I think mechanical wise, like Siege is probably in its best state. Like there's really no like game breaking bugs. Like the only thing, you know, is probably the zombie angles where they use a character in the game that can make little walls and but they use that wall to basically you know get into these angles or on the part of the maps where you know you're not really supposed to but you know siege you know probably within a week or two they'll fix it or do something around it back to what i was saying i don't know my game like bugged out but with Siege, its main obstacle is cheaters. Cheaters are ruining the game. And that happens with every game, but I feel like Siege, since it's such an old game, you know, came out 2014, 2015, around that time. You know, there's a lot of obstacles that comes with the old game. And especially if you guys didn't know that Siege was, it was supposed to be a completely different game. And so, you know, it has this term called uh, spaghetti code where everything is kind of all jacked up but besides that you know siege has time to develop and become a better game mechanically you know what the you know there is uh, one of the most hated seasons out there but you know operation white noise the whole purpose was that is to not add new content but to fix the remaining content that was left in siege and it worked for some part, but now we're in this stage of siege where, you know, we have no game big, no no game breaking bugs, but we do have hackers and cheaters. And the thing is that, like, you know, the old cheaters they were able to shoot maverick holes into reinforcement walls with you know any gun. And one of the popular cheats I remember was when they were able to put a whole you know JPEG image onto your screen and it would be just like a random chicken but you know it's not the same thing anymore it's not really funny you know with the old cheese you know they're kind of funny you're selling a whole chicken on your screen but now you know you have just people walling you know aimbot you know and then you know the ones that are really advanced spin botting you know running outside the prep phase without you know restriction from the game stuff like that and you know you kind of expect you know if you're low rank like gold or plat you know you kind of expect oh i only run to cheaters when oh i'm diamond or if i'm champion which is the highest rank in siege but you know pushing playing this season and plat when i was pushing to plat i still ran into you know maybe three or four cheaters through the whole pushing through that whole rank so you know kind of that's a that's a little amount for pushing through a whole rank but then you know i'm an emerald and i'm not a high emerald player you know i'm low emerald so i'm emerald five emerald four right now but you know and i'm not saying that the reason why i'm stuck is just mainly cheaters but cheaters do push you back a lot in elo because you know you'll play games after the cheater and you know you'll win your elo and the next day you hop on and then you realize all your progress just got reverted because there is someone on your team cheating or someone in, on the enemy team that's cheating and i have run into times where there's cheaters on the enemy team and you're supposed to gain the elo that you lose to the cheaters but i still haven't got that yet i still haven't got all the elo i've lost back from cheaters but i'll lose elo for having cheaters on my team but you know vice versa it won't the opposite effect has never happened to me yet and you know at this point i've kind of really lost you know motivation to to get to diamond because i don't play brink you know that often if you do look at my stats mostly i just play kid plat and i'll, I'll stop playing ranked and i don't know why but that's just how i am but this season 
you know, I'm you know, I'm good at the game. I know I can hit diamond one and I just wanted to hit diamond and then maybe you know if, if I was really feeling it I was gonna go to champ but uh I just wanted to hit diamond this season. That was just my goal. And I was getting really far because uh I was literally one game away from being uh, emerald and emerald was not a hard rank solo queuing or queuing with random people because you know that happens you join the official seed server and look for a group and there's nothing wrong with that it's just if you really care about rank you know you do that but usually i just solo queue my way through ranked and the problem is is that you do run into a lot of cheaters and you know like what are you supposed to do when you're trying to you know get out of a rank or trying to advance into rank and you're just running into cheaters and you know it just kind of seems a little dumb when you're when siege's kind of main factor is the competitiveness it's a competitive game and the fact that the cheater problem is so bad you have youtubers like evan or your boy roy you know they play standard just because just to play the game you know you have to play standard so you don't run into any cheaters and it's just feel like I feel like cheating is Siege's main problem or only problem because I still have fun playing Siege like I don't have no problem playing it but the only problem I can complain about is just the lack of like anti-cheat I always make the joke where if I get a cheater in my game I always type in you know the game chat uh let's see if anti anti-cheat will actually work and it never does and I think the new thing with cheaters is that you can't you can't type in chat anymore because i've noticed that when there's a cheater on the enemy team i'll type but my message will never go through and i'll type in a lobby that happens to have no cheater and i can per like you know i can type in it and it, it's just weird where a situation where you know i'm not in the highest rank yet and i'm constantly it's like a 50 50 chance of getting to cheaters and you know i don't know what the what the real goal is for siege like when it comes to the cheating system but i really think they should you know maybe take a whole season to dedicate to cheaters and a problem maybe, maybe another another operation white noise but you know there's always going to be a 50 50 when it comes to that there are people be like yeah, you know, if it's best for the game, then let's do it. But there's going to be people that's going to be like, you know, we want content. We want new stuff to Siege. And right now, as I'm recording this, I think they just added a uh, mute protocol back for the custom game mode and added a new skin. And I just see, I just think, you know, people want content, even though it's recycled, they should just bring back the game modes. You know, the April Fool's game mode, uh, the Halloween one, the Christmas one. Just so people have a lot of diversity because, you know, the new content is going to be either a map rework or, you know, a new character or a character rework. And, you know, as it, as it sucks to say this, but I really think it's best for Siege to just have a whole dedicated season to fixing this whole cheating issue. Because what a lot of people want is they want, they want, um valorant's anti-cheat or yeah valorant, valorant has one of the best uh anti-cheats i think when it comes to online gaming i don't really know a better game where it has a better anti-cheat and the thing is it's just like ubisoft has to kind of like but they have to put like what's priority because i really think if uh if everything is going bad for or like you know siege when it comes to the cheating problem losing players i really haven't checked the player base but i'm assuming it would go down like if people are going into the same problem as me whether this season you know they want to take it serious and push through a whole new rank you know get a higher into rank or even want to get better but you know the problem is you know some people might have the mentality it's like why would i get better if i'm just gonna run into more cheaters and I think that might actually just if might just kill the base for siege. The fan base for siege. Because that happened before, like, you know, though so I remember when 
when siege cheating was really bad when you had uh, Anthony Pitt one make a whole video saying you know he's taking a break he switched to different games he uploaded an apex video I think he uploaded a Valorant video at that time but you know Anthony Pitt one who made his whole YouTube career you know with the game of siege even his mascot for his YouTube channel is Jaeger and like well now he just doesn't upload I don't know what happened but before that he switched games just because the cheating was so bad and he's kind of known for his montages but all of his montages were in rank and it seems like you know how is he gonna you know really like thrive into into this game where it's just full of cheaters and it's it's struggle it's just a it's a big struggle even though it's just it is just a game at the end of the day but you know it's some people's careers like people have made a whole career off a of, you know a single game and it's siege and i would like to see siege you know thrive again but its main problem is just cheaters i don't think the game is dead but you know, it's at a steady pace and it'll never be big as, you know, any other game. But, you know, that's what I thought for a long time. It'll never be big. It'll just kind of stay man. But then, you know, out of nowhere, you had the streamer slash YouTuber Jinx, you know, kind of completely revived the game. And then, you know, if there was no more cheaters, like if the cheater problem was like you run into a cheater, you know, let's say like once in every 30 games then in a high ranks if you know we can get to a point where it's like that then i really don't see an issue of the game dying or people complaining about it they'll probably just complain when it comes to the skill issue like they can't really get far or something like that but you know that's just how it is